Hey everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to show you what we got going on this week. You may notice there's a little bit of a different format. Uh, I got a new camera, GoPro Hero 7 Black, and I kind of test it out here in the garage. Uh, I'm probably going to do a mix of cameras, this one and then the other one that we normally use. But, on with the show. I'm going to show you a few things we got going on with the car this week. I got a lot done underneath it. Didn't really shoot a lot of video of it because it's kind of boring but I'll show you the final result. So here we go, check it out. Hopefully that light outside isn't too terribly bad, but what you're looking at right here, we got a tubular transmission cross member in it right now. I kind of screwed up. It has the same high man on both sides. Uh, generally speaking, you normally put a right and a left on there. And so as you adjust the bar or whatever, um, it gets shorter this way. Well, in this particular case, now when I adjust it, it moves the whole thing to the right or to the left if it's in the car. Now that's kind of cool because it gives me the ability to move the center of this over this way a little bit, or either way I should say, uh, you know, for misalignment purposes or if I don't have the motor exactly in the same spot when I built the stuff, whatever. Take a step back, look underneath here. All the welding is done right across here on both sides, uh, both sides of the rail and both sides of the car. There is a gazillion miles of welding underneath here. Uh, probably not my favorite task, but nonetheless, it is complete. Okay, I know some of you guys follow us on Instagram. You've probably seen some of that already, some of this already. Uh, but what I'm gonna show you is I got the MS3 Pro box. Um, I got the brackets made for it, and I think how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna mount it on the roll cage, something like this. That's going to do a couple of different things. It's going to keep it out of the way of the passenger's feet. They won't be able to kick any higher than this because the dash stops right about here. The wires will point towards the engine. I think it'll be a, a good place for it. I hope. I guess we'll find out. There's going to be a lot of wires up under here, so kind of, kind of play it by ear. Next. All right. The next part is the intercooler. I'm going to show you some top secret stuff uh, made with NASA technology. It is incredible, you would not believe it. But, I'm gonna share it with you because we're cool. Right, we're cool. I told you that intercooler is top secret. It says it right on top of it. Okay, so it's just the, the intercooler mock-up is all we're gonna do right now. Uh, I got some stuff that I recorded yesterday uh, that I'm going to put in right after this video right now. So um, again, it's just mock-up. Uh, I have to do some pre-fitment before I order the cores so I can make sure that it's going to fit because in this particular instance it's going to be a really tight fit. So uh, let's move on to the fitment of the mock-up right now and see how it turns out. And last but not least, we're going to start fitting the intercooler. I have the external measurements of this thing, so we're going to build it out of cardboard and try to fit everything and see if my idea is going to work. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna show you some layout lines. So right there, you can see the layout lines on the bumper. Hopefully the intercooler fits according to plan.
All right, got the trusty eBay plasma cutter. Switch cameras temporarily. And yeah, we're going to make some clearance in this bumper for the intercooler. Useless shop timber. Useless shop tip number. What are we? 4,354, I think. Or 82. Wait, what? Anyways, use a straight edge. You can't cut straight by hand. And we need a ground. And we may need some air. All right, we got the bumper trimmed up, we got the bumper ears trimmed up, and we are ready to put it back on and check it out for the intercooler clearance.
All right, hopefully it's starting to make a little more sense what we're trying to accomplish. Intercooler is going to be pretty big. Six inches wide, 32 inches, wait, six inches thick, 32 inches wide, tank to tank. That does not include the where the hoses connect. So let's see if the cardboard intercooler fits. Okay, I think we can call that a success. The intercooler mock-up is going to fit like we wanted it to. The only thing that's left to do is to 45 the core, or the tank, uh, where the inside headlight fits. Um, it's going to be a tight fit all the way around, but it is going to work. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to do in the future, not necessarily right now because it's, it, uh, it's not far enough along in the build, I'm going to cut some more weight out of this bumper. Um, the car is going to come in underweight according to some of the class rules that we're going to run in, so I have to add weight to it no matter what. So cutting the bumper is going to make that problem worse, but um, when we ballast the car out, when it gets closer to being ready to run, I think we're going to end up, you know, 54 to 55 percent weight over the nose to keep it from doing wheelies and whatnot. So that's just something to keep in mind. And at some point, we're going to add weight bars to the front of the car uh, so we can ballast it out correctly. So, anyways. Uh, that's neither here nor there. That's not a problem to worry about right now, but we will get to that in a later video. You can bet on that. Anyways, as usual, thanks everybody for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, another video down in the build of this mutt ugly thing here. Um, if you haven't, obviously, subscribe, man. You're going to miss out. Give it a thumbs up. Pretty please. And share it with all your racing buddies and your DIYers. Uh, as usual, more stuff coming up in the future. That's it. This is a wrap. We will see you guys in the next video.